Hello and welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to do something different. I'm making a classic 1200 Technics Mark II turntable in Unreal Engine 5.4 using Metasounds and a little bit of Blender. I will show you how to use input and output variables, how to set parameters, execute triggers, watch outputs, then use timelines and dynamic materials and a basic UI to create an interactable music player with platter movement, tone arm control, time elapsed and scrub, pitch 3345 RPM, change record and even gradual slowdown, as well as some realistic turntable noises. This tutorial is a monster, so I'm going to break it down to you first with an introduction and release all the parts gradually as I edit them. I'll show you the basic concepts of the Technics 1200. Now the deck I use is a really decent model on Sketchfab by Igor Harmadeni. I hope I said that correct and congratulations for making a great deck. The way I do lay out the tutorial is I separate the turntable and the audio blueprint so you don't have to even have a physical turntable. But if you do, with this one I have to bring it into Blender and separate all the individual parts and assign some new materials, some materials for the LEDs, set some pivot points and test some animations for bringing into Unreal. Then I have to export and import into Unreal Engine 5.4 with all the pivot points in place. Here I add all the objects to a blueprint, provide some basic lighting and a basic widget. An extra step here is actually digitizing some records as 3D models, which is quite enjoyable, taking pictures of them with a cross-polarizing filter and then doing some cloning in Photoshop to create clear labels and different color variations for the records. Again, these steps are all optional. You can do them if you want. You can even create some basic roughness materials and you can scale them up to fit the size of the turntable and import that all back into Unreal when you're done. In Unreal, we can go about setting up the Metasounds and a blueprint that talks to the Metasound blueprint and also a Metasound patch as well for bit crush and crackle effects that we'll add later. Additionally, we record some turntable sounds like the noise of the start stop button, the on off switch, and even the LED flicking on and off for authenticity. There's numerous ways to trigger the meta sounds. You can use either a array system within the meta sound, or you can use an array outside in a blueprint to feed that into the meta sound. We can acquire the track length and the time elapsed with some output watching. Then we can start assigning things like the pitch and the 33 and 45 RPM bottoms to both the platter speed and the actual pitch of the meta sound to get some realistic effects of a real platter. Things like pitch and bit crusher and crackle are all automated within on within the meta sound and they can be controlled in blueprint connected to the physical parts of the turntable. We can even build a basic record swapping system here for having our favorite records and being able to feed them in and change the sound accordingly. Additionally, we program some logic which enables the turntable not to function if it's not turned on. Upon turning it on, 33 RPM is always chosen and we can put in some nice little tricks like a clicking on various parts of the pitch control to move the pitch accordingly. Once all this is in place, we're ready for our first full test. Time of a record dictates how far the tone arm moves along the record. The tone arm can be lifted off 
and the record can be ejected. Again, when a new record is placed, the time is detected and we can actually scrub along the time bar to change the position of the playhead and the position of the track. Our favourite part is the pitch slowdown demonstrated here. Now I use some Unreal assets that are freely available on the marketplace to build a scene with some architectural elements in there. I hope you enjoyed watching the video and if this is your kind of thing give it a like and as I say I'm, I've got the first few parts of this edit and I'm going to start adding them onto my YouTube uh, in the coming weeks if there's enough demand otherwise I might put this on a Patreon or Patreon or I will put it um, on a Udemy if this is something people want to see. Thanks for watching again and hit me up in the comments or drop me a message 